Hi, welcome to Get Fit with the Body Smith. I am Flex Smith, and I'd like to thank you for joining us today. So the big question is, what are you doing to help yourself enjoy your journey? It should be fun, right? Exactly. So when you approach a workout, be present. Take advantage of your time. Be efficient and be effective. And that's what we're going to do here today. So from this very moment to the end of this workout and throughout the rest of your day, I'd like you to, number one, enjoy your journey. And number two, ask yourself how you're going to continue to do so. All right? So what we're going to focus on today is nothing but your abdominals. That's what we're going to work today. So if you tuned in to get a nice, cool workout, that's what we're going to deliver for you, all right? So here we go. Let's get it. We're going to start off today with doing some torso rotations from the standing position. So I'm going to ask you to place your hands out to your sides, and I'm going to ask you to engage the abdominals, okay? And we're going to rotate like we're doing sundials, but I want you to focus on keeping that core nice and tight, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do this for 30 seconds so we can wake up the, that body and also activate that transverse abdominis and those obliques. And for anyone wondering, well, what does that mean, Flex? I'm talking about your midsection right through the midline and also the outer parts of your core. So here we go, we're still twisting and rotating here and what it must feel like as if you're wringing out a washcloth, okay? But with your core, this is what you want. Here we go, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. So exercise number one, getting that core just ready and activated. Number two, we're gonna go into our mountain climbers here. So I'm gonna ask you to go into a push-up position like so. I want you to hold that position and I like to see you driving those knees forward to the chest, okay? I am aware that your upper body is supporting your frame and your legs are helping out as well. But this exercise is all about the lower abdominals, all right? So here we go. We're driving those legs forward, the knees going towards the chest, and here's what I want you to avoid. Watch out for this. this ha that happens a lot when people are looking to do this exercise. And so I'm looking for you to keep your core nice and engaged and drive those knees forward. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. How you feeling? Good? All right, we're gonna finish this first round off by doing a 30 second plank. So I like you to go down on those forms. I like you to stretch those legs out and just hold here. Now, maybe you need to modify this exercise. And if that's you, this is okay. What I wanna see you do here is bring your knees down to the floor, extend those arms up and watch how I push my hips forward to engage my core, okay? Notice that I'm not curling or curving the lower back. I'm just activating my abdominals. I'm squeezing and I'm holding and I'm sending all the stress and the tension right there. You're doing a great job. Here we go, still holding. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let's go ahead and grab some water. Let's hydrate. Again, thank you for joining us here at Be Well TV and at Get Fit with the Body Smith. We have 20 seconds remaining before we go into our next round here. And again, we're still warming up the core, warming up those abdominals, and we got a lot more on the way for you. So, again, we're gonna extend those arms out. You can also hold them to your sides if you like. I like to pretend that I'm holding a ball because we will progress this exercise in the future, so I'll be seeing you at another time. All right, so here we go. Rotating to the side here, squeezing those abdominals. There you go. I'm allowing myself to turn, but avoid turning so much so that you end up causing lower back discomfort. We wanna keep the lower back mind in this business right now. We wanna keep the front of our core involved and we wanna to continue to engage. Again, you should feel that tension across the midline and along the outer walls of your abdominals here, extending down into the hip. Here you go, five seconds remaining, 
four, three, two, one, and we're gonna go into those mountain climbers. You ready? Good, because here we go. Down into those mountain climbers. There you go, achieving that push-up position, squeezing those abdominals, and here we go, driving forward for 30 seconds. There you go, you're doing a beautiful job. Excellent work, let's keep driving those knees forward. Again, we're aiming towards the chin or towards the chest, okay? You should feel that lower abdominal crunch, all right? That's what we're working for, that's what we need. You have 10 seconds remaining, we're still squeezing, we're still engaging, we're still activating. There you go, here we go. And three, two, one. Now we're gonna go down into that plank. And again, if you need to modify, let's go ahead and extend those arms. Let's remain on the knees, but then push the hips forward so we engage the core, all right? And for my advanced people out there, if you're looking to still get a challenge going, let's go down on the forearms, let's stretch those legs out, and let's hold and squeeze, all right? You're doing a beautiful job today. Keep on going, all right? Good. We talk about enjoying the experience. Well, I want you to treat it like your favorite movie, right? What do you notice? What do you see? Maybe some action, some adventure, right? A little stressful situation, but you're making it. You're doing a great job. So keep on working. Keep on engaging. Stay with it. You got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Go ahead and relax. We're gonna grab some water, and then we're gonna progress to our next abdominal exercises. So, we're gonna take this next 20 seconds to rehydrate, and we're gonna continue to work your core. All right, so here's what we got in store. We're gonna do these from Lying on our back here, so feel free to lie down on your back. We're gonna start off by working opposite hand to opposite leg, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach for it. I don't need to touch my toes, but I do need to aim in that direction, okay? So we're gonna lift, squeeze, right? Squeeze. And this entire motion and position should be comfortable for you all the way throughout. Now here's what you must feel. You must feel those abdominals working for you. That's why I have my hand placed on my abs so I can feel them activate, okay? I can feel them stretch on the way back. Five seconds, four, three, two, and we're gonna switch over to the other side here. Opposite hand, opposite leg out, okay? So here we go. Squeeze right and back down. There we go. And what I like you to avoid, okay, what you must not feel. You must not feel any stress or discomfort in your neck. And if you do, I like to ask you to stop, watch what we're doing, and then go ahead and continue. I'm making sure that I use my abdominals to lift and to lower the body and I'm eliminating momentum as much as possible. So today, you do not need to touch the toes. You don't even need to lift the legs up this high. Maybe this is all you have, that's okay. Let's engage that core. There you go, and relax. Beautiful job here. All right, so next up, we're gonna work the reverse crunch. So I like to have my hands to the side here. This is our starting position with both feet on the ground. Okay, your spine naturally will curl into a ball and that's what I'm gonna do. Take advantage of what I know, okay? So, I'm gonna squeeze in and then I'm gonna allow my legs to go back down to the floor, okay? This is fine for today. We can have this resting moment so that you can stay in control of your core and keep your lower back out of it, okay? And this is what we're gonna do for 30 seconds in five, four, three, two, and squeeze, okay? And lower. There you go. Still squeezing in and lower. And what I'm looking to do is, I'm looking to bring my knees all the way into my chest, okay? And if you're unable to get there today, no problem. Bring it here and lower it back down, okay? Bring it here and lower it back down. And what I'm looking for is the lower abdominal crunch is what we want. 
So if you're feeling it down here, that's good. If you're feeling it out here, that is not so great. So we want to correct that. We're going to go for five more seconds. Five, four, good. Three, two, one, and bring them back down. You're doing a beautiful job. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to do some inside toe touches. So I'm going to ask you to squeeze your abs to lift the body up. Notice that I'm not pushing the head forward. I'm just using my abs to support my frame, my hands. I'm gonna take this hand and go into the inside part of the heel, not the outside, on the inside. And then I'm gonna use my back like a turtle shell and turn to the other side, okay? So we're reaching inside, inside, and we're bringing our chin to the chest, okay? That's what we're looking for. Here we go. Good, reaching, squeezing, feeling. Yeah, there you go, come on. Still working, abs engaged, still going here. 10 seconds remaining, beautiful job. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. One more for a good measure. There we go. Go ahead and relax. How you doing? Pretty good? Are you sweating like I'm sweating? Great, I'm glad you were able to do so. Now listen, we're gonna grab some water. And because I can hear, I can see you telling me you want more, we're gonna do another round, is that okay? Good, all right, let's go. Here we go. Let's grab some water, we have 20 seconds before we begin. Beautiful job. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and lie back down here. Okay, feel free to join me. If you need more rest, feel free to take it. But if you're ready to go, we're gonna be working that opposite leg with the opposite hand for that crunch. Here we go, squeeze up and down. There you go. And I like you to practice the technique before you worry about tempo because I need you to feel everything. There you go, keep working and squeezing. There you go, keep working and squeezing. There you go, we're still reaching. There you go, we're still squeezing. And most importantly, we're still breathing. There you go, 10 seconds remaining. You're doing a beautiful job here. Continue to squeeze those abdominals. I know mine are burning, so I hope that yours are too. Here we go, in three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna switch over to the other side. Opposite hand out, opposite foot is out hand placed on the abdominals so we can feel ourselves stretching and squeezing. Here we go, up, there you go. Squeeze up, beautiful job. I need you to feel everything. Squeezing those abdominals, taking the stress off of our neck, taking the stress out of our lower back and we're keeping it all in front of us. There we go, still squeezing here. You're doing a beautiful job. Thank you very much. Most importantly, thank yourself because you're doing it. Ten, 10 seconds remaining. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Great work, how you doing? We're going into that reverse crunch here. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, and squeeze and lower, there you go. This movement should feel comfortable. You will feel like you're rocking a little bit. That is okay. We're gonna use that momentum to give us a nice squeeze of those lower abdominals. There you go, keep on working. And trust me, if you're doing the right, which I know that you are, you're gonna feel those abdominals burning. Good, here we go, 10 seconds. Great job. Still squeezing and working, here we go. Five, four, good. Three, two, one, and relax. Last exercise, we're gonna go into those inside heel touches. Again, we're gonna start by squeezing the abdominals to get into the upright position. We're gonna bring our chin to our chest. Hands are gonna reach for the inside here. Inside, here we go. Still working, still squeezing. 
You should feel these on the outer walls of the abdominals. Great job here. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. We're almost there. Almost there. Come on. Stay with me now. Here you go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. How are you doing? Beautiful. You may still be lying down right now. Feel free to stay there. If you like, you can get into this seated position that I'm in right now. But all we're gonna do is take this opportunity to check out, okay? So feel free to close your eyes, to take in your environment, the experience and everything you just went through. And I want you to first thank your inner coach for helping you be here for helping you make it through this experience. And I'm not talking about myself, I'm talking about the person that's inside you that set those goals, that said that I want to transform or live this lifestyle. Give that person some credit, because it's due. Continue to take some nice, big, deep breaths in through your nose. And go ahead and exhale. And as we leave each other, I want you to think about your next experience. And I want you to remember to enjoy it. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy your lifestyle because it's what you want. It's what you're going to create if you're not doing it already. Matter of fact, you are because you're here. Celebrate your wins no matter how small. And that's going to help you easily enjoy the big ones. Feel free to open your eyes. <laughs> Man, we had a great time today. I certainly enjoyed you being here with me. And remember, whatever you do, give it your best, give it your all, because you can do it, you will do it, you already are doing it, so why not continue, right? Have a great rest of your day on purpose, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.